With the ever-changing landscape of the Joshi scene, stardom is no stranger to frequent changes. Although my last stardom guide was not all that long ago, enough has changed that I feel it is time for an update. To make sure the video isn't hours long, I'm only going to give brief info on every wrestler. So let's start with Odotai. Odotai is stardom's heel group. Up until about a year ago, Odotai was more of a comedy heel group, more like heel light with you still loving them and them still being loved. After the retirement of Kagetsu, she passed the reins over to Natsuko Tora, and Natsuko took the group into a whole new direction being actual true heels for the first time in the company's history. Cheating, being mean, all of that junk. And not once do they try to make you like them, they're just very, very awesome, so you end up liking them. First we have Natsuko Tora. She was born on January 30th of 1991. She debuted on October 30th of 2016. Her birthplace includes Kawasaki City, and she stands at about 5.5 feet, but rounded up to 5'1". She weighs 165 pounds, and her past sports were basketball. Her blood type could not be found, like most of the wrestlers it seems. And her past factions include Stars and John. Her notable moves include the Death Valley Bomb, the Frog Splash off the top rope, Ascension, Diving Guillotine off the top rope, the Mari Shishten, and the Running Cannonball. Her title wins include her being the 14th Goddesses of Stardom Champion and the 17th and 24th Artists of Stardom Champion. Although up until recently she really was never in the limelight, after taking over Odotai, Natsuko Tora completely reinvented herself and the group, changing from meek-minded to an absolute badass. She will cheat if she does not think she will win, because to her, a personal win over her opponent, insulting their honor, is way more enjoyable than actually getting the win on paper. She recently just got a huge injury, during a title match that many thought that she had a very good chance of winning. She's going to be out for a very long time, so don't forget about her. She is the leader of Odotai. Next, we have Saki Kashima, born on May 5th, 1993, debuting on June 26th of 2011. Don't let that fool you, though, as she had spent a majority of her career as retired and only recently came back a couple years ago. She was born in Matsui City. She stands at 5 foot 4 inches and weighs 110 pounds. Uh, she is very secretive about her life outside of the ring, so her passports are unknown, her blood type is unknown, a lot about her is unknown. Her past factions include stars, in which she personally betrayed Mayu to join Odotai. Her notable moves includes My Emblem, the Kishikasai, and the Angel Wings. Her title wins include the 13th Goddesses of Stardom Championships, and she was the first, 18th, 20th, and 24th Artists of Stardom Champion. Saki Kashima is a weird wrestler in stardom, as for the majority of the fans, they really only know her as the cutesy idol type that was next to Mayu after coming back from retirement. But through many hints and kind of storylines, we kind of find out that Saki really isn't like that at all. And after betraying Odotai, she has kind of shown her true personality a little bit. She is more of, let's say, a delinquent type than an idol type. She is Stardom's quintessential spoiler, though. In any tournament, you can expect her to get some big wins over some people that you would not expect to be getting pinned. If you were seeing a tournament and you were wondering how anybody is going to beat a certain person in that tournament, and they are in the same bracket as Saki Kashima, you can best believe she is most likely going to get that pin on them. Next we have Starlight Kid, the newest member of Odotai, and one of the few people who joined Odotai not by choice. She was born August 18th of 2001. Now, before you say anything in the comments, you were probably like, wait, what? Her birthday was never publicly given. But, through some kind of, you know, deductions and certain posts made by certain people, the English stardom account saying that her birthday was August 18th, the fact that she graduated in 2020 um, and she's a year older than Azumi, we can pretty much guesstimate that her birthday was in August 18th of 2001 and that's why I put it there. Now there is a likelihood that it could be wrong, but I believe that is a very good guess. 
Uh, next, she debuts on October 11th, 2015. Her birthplace is unknown, and I do not believe it has ever been leaked or anything like that or hinted at. According to Stardom, standing at 4 foot 11 and 99 pounds, her past sports include dance, and her blood type is unknown. Her past factions include Stars. She was one of the original members, and she had been in Stars for a long time up until very recently. Her notable moves include the Moonsault off the top rope, the Tornado Star Suplex, and the Kichan Bomb. Her title wins include her being the first ever Future of Stardom champion. Starlight Kid is very different now than what she has been for the majority of her career. For a long time, she has been kind of Mayu's second, a little bit of a mini Mayu, but ever since joining Odotai, she has kind of slowly shifted into being a lot more aggressive and or evilish. It's still a little too early in her career change to know whether this is going to be a good or a bad thing, but it's looking like it's going to be a good thing. Next we have Ruka, Odotai's second youngest member. She was born on August 16th of 2004. She debuted on November 20th of 2016 and was born in Tokyo. She stands at 5 foot 3, weighing 143 pounds. Her past sports include jazz dance and her blood type is unknown. Her past factions include Stars, John, and TCS. Her notable moves, even though she is very young, include the Freezer Bomb, Fisherman Suplex, and the Body Splash. She has yet to win any kind of titles or tournaments of note. Early on in her career, she made a name for herself as a somewhat big young wrestler who was able to kind of dominate the other ones with her size and strength. Over time, she has seemed to have lost her passion after John and TCS had disbanded. She didn't really seem like she was that into anything anymore. After betraying stars and joining Odotai, Ruka has reinvented her career and has sparked a fire under her, becoming one of the most pushed and protected young wrestlers on the card. Next we have Rina, the youngest member of Odotai. She was born on December 28th of 2006. She debuted on October 13th of 2018. Her birthplace includes Shimotsuke, and she stands at 5 foot 3 and 117 pounds. Her past sport, just like all the other sisters, is Judo, blood type also unknown. Her past factions include Stars and TCS. Notable moves, the Hydrangea, Judo Throw, and the Octopus Stretch. Title wins and tournament wins, nothing. After being drafted to TCS from Stars, Rina became somewhat of a Hanakamura clone, acting like her, dressing like her, and just looking up to her in general. After Hana's passing and the disbandment of TCS, she betrayed Stars and joined Odo Tai, adopting some of Hana's moveset and trying to find her place in the group. Next, we have Fukigen Death. Her date of birth is private. She debuted on April 10th of 2021. Her birthplace is also private. She stands at 4 foot 11, 128 pounds. Past sports is unknown. Blood type is unknown. Past factions under different aliases are Stars, TCS, and John. Her notable moves include the O'Connor Roll and the Senton. And she is also the 17th high speed champion. Now, a lot of this stuff is actually not very accurate because Stardom has kind of considered her in each one of her new forms as a new entity. So a lot of her information is hidden and or not relevant to the current iteration of Death. Death is a mysterious demon clown that was corrupted by Odo Tai after being stolen from stars. Since joining the heel group, she has become somewhat of a delinquent, frequently smoking invisible cigarettes in the ring. She is one of Stardom's most unpredictable spoilers. Next we have Konami, born July 15th of 1996, debuting on February 25th of 2015. She was born in Fukuyama, standing at 5 foot 1 inches and weighing 121 pounds. Her past sports include MMA and softball. Her blood type is unknown and her past factions include Queen's Quest, TCS, and Stars. Her notable moves include the Buzzsaw Kick, the Triangle Lancer, and a Baseball Slide Kick. The title she has won is the 16th and the 19th Goddesses of Stardom, the 13th and 19th Artist of Stardom. Konami is one of the best technical wrestlers in the game right now. Being the only disciple of WWE's Asuka, she can take apart anyone in the ring with a very cold and collected approach. When she isn't licking other people's championship titles, she is trying to break them. She betrayed her friend Jungle Kiona, causing TCS to be disbanded. 
and joined Odo Tai, stating that being on a team of betrayers allows her to not get attached to anyone so that she can't be let down by anybody ever again. Stars is Stardom's face faction. Started by Mayu Iwatani, she wanted to create a group that fights for justice and to not cave into the temptations of wrestling dirty. They are all known for having very sparkly outfits and being kid friendly. They used to have many members, but with many betrayals and losing members because of gimmick matches, they currently only have three active members. Two members are out with very serious injuries that will make them out for the considerable future. The biggest takeaway from Stars is two things. One is that Mayu is a terrible leader, and two is that this group is absolutely cursed. First we have Mayu Iwatani, born February 19th, 1993, debuting on January 23rd of 2011 with Stardom. She was born in Mine City. She stands at 5'4 and is 117 pounds. Her past sports include judo and athletics. Her blood type is A, and her past factions include Thunder Rock. Her notable moves are two-step dragon suplex, a moon salt, a diving foot stomp, and the running three. Her titles and tournament wins include her being the third ever Woman of Honor World Champion, the 4th and ninth Wonder of Stardom Champion, the 8th and 12th Wonder of Stardom Champion, being the 1st and only Dual Wonder and World Star Champion, the 8th and 13th Goddesses of Stardom Champion, the 4th, the 6th, the 9th, the 18th, and the 20th Artist of Stardom Champion, the 12th High Speed Champion, the winner of the 2018 Five Star Grand Prix and the winner of the 2015 and 2016 Cinderella Tournament. Mayu is the leader of stars and one of the best wrestlers in the world. Her ability in the ring is just absolutely amazing. Bumping and selling were always her specialty, with Io Shirai and Kairi Sane claiming her as a bump expert. While she is a marvel in the ring, she is an absolute mess outside of it. Picture the most absent-minded person you know, and you have a picture of how Mayu is in her day-to-day -day life. Somehow, she is able to turn that all off in the ring and become a superhuman. Next, we have Jungle Kiona, born on April 1st of 1991. She debuted on November 15th of 2015. She was born in Nagoya. She stands at 5'1", weighs 137 pounds. Her past sports include swimming and athletics. Her blood type is unknown, and her past factions includes Stars, TCS, and John. Her notable moves includes Hammer Throw Power Bomb, the Sharpshooter, the Jungle Buster, and Giant Swing. Her title wins and tournament wins includes the 11th, the 14th, the 16th Goddesses of Stardom, and the 15th, 17th, and 19th Artists of Stardom. And she was also the 2015 Rookie King. Jungle is someone many of the newcomers might not even know. She's been out for around a year at this point with injuries. She is Stardom's ultimate babyface. No matter how much she loses and no matter how many times she fails to get the big win, the fans still love and support her. She is one of Stardom's power wrestlers from a time when the average wrestler in Stardom was only 5'1". After her shoulder injury, she was slowly becoming unable to do the big power moves, but still held in there. Many fans are awaiting her big return. Next we have Koguma, who was born on January 20th of 1998. She debuted on November 4th of 2013, and then retired shortly after and returned only recently. Her birthplace is Tagawa-gun. She stands at 4 foot 11, weighs 132 pounds. Her past sports blood types are both unknown. Her past factions include none, she's only ever been in stars. And her notable moves as of right now is just the German suplex. She is still kind of implementing a lot of her repertoire since she is still so new. Her title wins include being the 9th High Speed Champion and the 7th Artist of Stardom Champion. Koguma is a return wrestler. Started Stardom and was fast tracked up the card winning the High Speed title against Io Shirai. She had lots of potential but then left wrestling. She returned recently and seems to have taken Starlight Kid's spot as Mayu's right hand. She seems to be making a style in the ring that is still high speed like when she was there originally. Next we have Saya Ida, born May 19th, 1997, debuting on January 14th of 2019. She was born in Kashiwa City, standing at 4 foot 9 and 119 pounds. 
Her past sports include track and field. Blood type is unknown. Her past factions is John. And her notable moves include the Itabashi, Brain Buster, and Diamond Dust. Her title wins including her being the fourth Future of Stardom champion. Saya is not just one of the smallest wrestlers on the roster, she is also one of the strongest, regularly performing insane feats of strength for her size. For a long time she seemed to be getting passed by her peers and being left behind, but recently she had a huge shift, adding more moves to her repertoire and really coming into her own as a star. Just as she had an opportunity to really show what she is made of, she got injured and will be out for quite a while. Be excited for her return though as at the time that she left, she was one of the most solid all-around wrestlers in the promotion. Next we have Hanan, born on August 11, 2004, debuting on April 9th of 2017, birthplace is Shimotsuke City, standing at 5 foot 6 and 130 pounds. Her past sports include judo and handball and her blood type is unknown. Her past factions include none, she has been in stars from the beginning. And her notable moves include the jumping armbar and the judo throw. She has yet to win any kind of titles or tournaments. Hanan is the oldest from the Sisters of Stardom and has been in stars from the beginning and is one of the few who has stuck by Mayu's side the entire time. She has been gone a long time from both injury and family issues, so she might not be very well known by many of you. But she is back and one of the three active stars members, so expect her to be more active. She seems to be improving pretty well since her return. Next, we are going to look at the two wrestlers who are not affiliated with any group. This concept didn't used to be so rare, but current day stardom is much more faction based than old stardom. First, we have Lady C, born on November 17th of 1994, debuting on November 14th of 2020. Her birthplace is Ichikawa City, and she stands at 5'10", 137 pounds. Her past sport is just her past job, which is home economics teacher. Her blood type is unknown, and her past factions is none. Her notable moves includes the choke slam and the big boot, and she has yet to win any kind of titles or tournaments. Lady C is currently the tallest active Joshi wrestler, but is very new. She has yet to win a single match, but is progressing pretty nicely. At this time, she hasn't achieved much but I would keep my eye on her because she has the performance part of wrestling pretty well down. She knows how to present herself as a star, even if her abilities don't exactly match that yet. Donna Del Mondo is fairly new compared to some of the other factions, only debuting around a year and a half ago. Created and exclusively made up of wrestlers that came from other promotions, it feels like an invading force that's come to take over. This is a feeling that is backed by the fact that this group is one of the most pushed and protected groups in stardom history, with almost every single member having some of the highest win percentages of the promotion. First we have Julia, born February 21st of 1994, debuting on October 29th of 2017. Her birthplace is London, UK, which makes her the only person in the promotion who was born outside of Japan. She stands at 5 foot 4 inches and weighs 121 pounds. Her past sport is actually a past job, and it is being an Italian restaurant manager. Her blood type is unknown, and her past factions is a past promotion. She used to be a part of Ice Ribbon. Her notable moves includes the Stealth Viper, Bianca, and the Glorious Driver. Her title wins includes the 21st Goddesses of Stardom, the 14th Wonder of Stardom, the 23rd Artist of Stardom, and the 46th International Ribbon Tag Champion, and she also won the 2020 Cinderella Tournament. Julia is DDM's leader and something of a polarizing character. After her somewhat controversial departure from Ice Ribbon, she has become one of the top performers in the promotion, leading her new faction to be one of the most dominant groups in wrestling. While her skills in the ring aren't the greatest, she makes up for that in pure willingness to put on the most entertaining match possible even at the expense of her own safety. Her ability to put on a performance and her being teamed up against Tam made her a star in stardom. Next we have Shitty, born February 8th, 1989 and debuting on October 26th of 2008. She was born in Ebina City, standing at 5 foot 5 inches, weighing 128 pounds. Her past sports includes MMA, blood type is unknown, and her past factions is Freelancer. 
Her notable moves include the Suzaku, White Tiger, Genbu, and Buzzsaw Kick. Her title wins include the 21st Goddess of Stardom, the 7th SWA World, the 23rd Artist of Stardom, the 16th CMLL World Women's, the 25th Oz Academy Tag, and the 3rd Sendai Girls World Tag, and many, many others. Shuddy is one of the top people in the company, and for good reason, being one of the only wrestlers in stardom with real fighting experience. She even had a stint in the UFC. She is considered by many to be one of, if not the best wrestler in stardom, being an almost unstoppable force of aggression and fire. With the acquisition of stardom by Bushiroad, a number of wrestlers came into stardom and got some mixed receptions. Shuddy seems to be the only wrestler who has joined in the recent history that everyone pretty much accepted as worthy of the push that she got. Next we have Micah, born March 24th. The year that she was born is private. She debuted on March 7th of 2019 in Fukuoka. She stands at 5'4", 143 pounds, and her past sports include judo. Her blood type is unknown. Her past factions is another promotion called Just Tap Out. Her notable moves include the Michinoku Driver 2, the Enka Atoshi, the Ure Hishigi Reverse Cross. And the title wins is the 20th Goddesses of Stardom, the 3rd Future of Stardom, and the 23rd Artist of Stardom. Mike is a founding member of DDM alongside Julia and Shitty. She is still pretty new to wrestling, but has found a solid footing in the ring. She is a protege of New Japan wrestler Taka Michinoku and debuted in his promotion Just Tap Out, becoming their super rookie until leaving and signing with Stardom instead. Like most of DDM, she has won a number of different titles very early after joining Stardom and has become one of the higher up rookie types in the promotion. Next we have Natsupoi, born July 19th of 1995, debuting on May 31st of 2015. She was born in Yokohama City and stands at 4 foot 11, 104 pounds. Her past sports include baton twirling, rhythm gymnastics, and ballet. Her blood type is O, and her past factions are Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling, which is another promotion, and Azumi's Army, which is a small group that Azumi used to lead back in the day. Her notable moves include the Ferial Gift, the German Suplex, and the Backlash. Her title wins is she is the 20th High Speed Champion and the first International Princess. Natsupoi, while new to the recent stardom, was actually participating in the promotion years earlier. Back when she was a rookie, she used to play a ditzy character who worshipped Azumi. Since then, she stopped coming to stardom and made a name for herself outside the promotion. She made a return and seemed to get the typical DDM treatment and won the high-speed title. She is incredibly fast and agile in the ring, a much-needed addition to the very small high-speed division of stardom. Next, we have Himika. Born on May 28th of 1997 and debuting on December 24th of 2017. She was born in Iwate and she stands at 5'8", 150 pounds. Her past sports include being an idol and her blood type is B. Her past factions include Actress Girls, another promotion. Her notable moves are JP Coaster, Running Powerbomb, and the Argentine Backbreaker. Her title wins include being the 20th Goddesses of Stardom and the 4th Beyond the Sea tag. Himika is one of the tallest and strongest members of stardom. After leaving Actress Girls, she joined DDM, and unlike the rest of the members, she took about a year before winning her first title in stardom, only to very shortly lose it to Julia and Shirdi. Even though you wouldn't think she would be the lowest on the totem pole in DDM, she is. She doesn't take pins very often, but like a lot of the other members who were in power before the Bushy Road acquisition, she never gets the big win. She seems to be more of an outsider inside DDM, and to a lot of people, if anyone were to leave the group, it would be her. Queen's Quest today is very different than when they were first founded. They were founded by the legendary Io Shirai, wanting to create a group that strived to be the best in the ring. After she left for the WWE, Momo Watanabe took over and kept the faction from falling into obscurity. As time went on, QQ was shifted to more of a group of young friends who just want to push wrestling to its limits. In five years, most of these members will either be running the Joshi scene, or burned out of wrestling completely. First, we have Momo Watanabe, the leader of Queen's Quest. She was born on March 22nd of 2000, debuting on November 16th of 2014. 
She was born in Kanagawa Prefecture. She stands at 5 foot 1, 121 pounds. Her past sports include softball, which she was actually very good at. Her blood type is A, and her past factions is a tag team with Jungle Kiona called JK Green. Her notable moves include the Peach Bomb, Peach Sunrise, Tequila Sunrise, B Driver, and the Simato. Her title wins include her being the 15th Goddesses of Stardom champion, the 12th Wonder of Stardom, the 11th and 22nd Artists of Stardom, the 8th and 10th Goddesses of Stardom Tag League, and 2018 Cinderella. Momo was something of a strange character in stardom, as older fans absolutely love her, but newer fans are more confused by that admiration. This stems from the fact that Momo had her greatest success well before most fans discovered stardom, and has been on a slow decline ever since. While her skills in the ring have not changed, her absence from any major storylines and no major successes in the title scene for over three years has left her as an afterthought to many new fans. Even to this day, the old fans still hope that she gets her time at the top again. Next we have Azumi. She was born on October 1st of 2002, debuting on October 6th of 2013. She was born in Katsushika-ku. She stands at 5 foot 1, 99 pounds. Her past sports include shoot boxing. Her blood type is unknown, and her past factions is a group that she used to lead called Izumi's Army. Her notable moves are the Izumi Sushi, the Diving Foot Stomp, La Mystica to an Arm Bar. Her title wins includes the 19th High Speed Champion, the 12th and 14th and 22nd Artists of Stardom, and the 10th Goddesses of Stardom Tag League. Azumi is something special in stardom. She is one of the youngest wrestlers on the roster, but one of the most experienced at the same time. She has been in the wrestling business since 9 years old and has been wrestling officially since 11. She has made a name for herself as being an incredibly talented wrestler, impressing amazing wrestlers like Will Ospreay. She is one of the few high-speed wrestlers in the promotion, and from what she has said in interviews, it seems... She sees the high speed belt as her main career goal, so we can almost guarantee that she will be holding that belt again one day in the future. Next, we have Utami Hayashishita. Born September 14th of 1998 and debuting on August 12th of 2018, she was born in Amami City, standing at 5'5, 5 143 pounds. Her past sports are judo, and her blood type is unknown. Her past factions are none. She joined Queen's Quest shortly after joining Stardom. Her notable moves include BT Bomb, the Torture Rack Bomb, and the German Suplex. Her title wins are the 13th World of Stardom, the 22nd Artist of Stardom, the 4th SWA World, the 2nd Eve International, the 2nd Future of Stardom, the 15th and 18th Goddesses of Stardom, the 2020 Five Star Grand Prix winner, and the 2018 Rookie King, and finally, the 8th Tag League winner. Utami is a wrestler that has split the fan base somewhat. A lot of people feel that her getting so insanely pushed right from the get-go is undeserved and doesn't match her skill level, while others feel that she does deserve the push that she got. Regardless of opinion, the fact is that she did get 4 plus belts in her first year and made it to the finals of the 5 star Grand Prix in her first year as well. She is the most pushed wrestler in stardom history and has one of the lowest personal loss percentages of any wrestler in stardom. To a lot of people, she is their favorite wrestler and regardless of which side you take, she almost always presented herself as a star. Next we have Saya Kamatani. Born November 28th of 1996, debuting on August 10th of 2019. She was born in Kanagawa Prefecture, standing at 5 foot 6, 128 pounds. Her past sports include being an idol and dance. Her blood type is AB. Her past factions include being a part of Stardom Idols. Notable moves are the Phoenix Splash, the Running Shooting Star Press, the Suicide Senton, a Frankensteiner, and the Star Crusher. Her title wins are the 18th Goddesses of Stardom, the 2021 Cinderella Tournament winner, and the 2019 Rookie King. Kamatani is one of those wrestlers that are truly once in a generation. She is constantly pushing the boundaries of women's wrestling, pulling off moves that have either never been attempted by any notable women before or haven't been done in decades. 
Out of all of the wrestlers in stardom right now, Kamatani is the most likely to become a true legend in her field. Already in her short career, she has pulled off memorable moments that would be the highlight of most other wrestlers' whole careers. The only thing that can stop her from being one of the best ever is herself. While she is groundbreaking and almost fearless, that is what could be her downfall. Her insistence to keep pushing the boundaries is either going to make her legendary or seriously hurt herself. Finally, we have Hina. Born on December 28th of 2006, debuting on October 13th of 2018. She was born in Shimotsuke, stands at 5'4", 123 pounds, and her past sports were judo. Her blood type is unknown and her past factions is stars. Her notable moves are the ripcord judo throw and the power slam. She has yet to win anything of note. Hina is the last of the sisters of stardom and the twin of Rina. She was always the more shy and reserved sister out of the three, but ever since being drafted to Queen's Quest, she seems to be coming out of her shell and has become many fans' favorite of the three sisters. Just like the other sisters, she has yet to really achieve much as she is still very young, but like the other two, she has some real potential. Cosmic Angels is the newest of the factions and they are absolutely killing it with the members having taken part of the best matches and best storylines since their very creation. While most of that is them being carried by their leader, every member brings something to the table, with each member perfectly matching each other's aesthetic, but also feeling like individuals. If there is one thing that this team does better than any other faction, it's that their charisma and focus on storytelling is first. First we have Tam Nakano, born March 22nd of 1988, debuting on July 18th of 2016. She's born in Aichi Prefecture and she stands at 5'2", 123 pounds. Her past sports include Chinese martial artist, pyrotechnician, and idol. Her blood type is unknown and her past factions include Stars and Odotai. Her notable moves are the Twilight Dream, Tiger Suplex, Violet Shooting, and the Doden Dot Tam. Her title wins include being the 15th Wonder of Stardom champion, the 18th, 20th, and 25th Artists of Stardom, and the winner of the 9th Goddesses of Stardom Tag League. Tam is one of the best things about wrestling. For the past couple of years, she has consistently put on the best matches and storylines in the promotion. After finally going out on her own and stepping out from the shadow of Mayo Iwatani, Tam has created one of the most charismatic factions in stardom since late 2017 Odotai. She is able to not only prove her skills in the ring consistently, she is able to make every match an emotional investment, continuing even the smallest of feuds or stories in every show. For the longest time, she was the best thing about stardom and she is currently enjoying the payoff for her very hard work. There is talk that she only plans to stay another couple of years, but I think we can expect her to stay the best thing about stardom for those years. Next we have Unagi, born on September 2nd, 1989, debuting on January 4th of 2019. She was born in Osaka and stands at 5'6", 119 pounds. Her past sport is actually a job, she was a grab your idol. Her blood type is unknown and her past factions is another promotion, Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling. Her notable moves are It Was a Good Idea, Dai Fuhin Katame, and Mad Splash. Her title wins are the 6th Future of Stardom and the 25th Artist of Stardom. Unagi is the underdog of the faction, still being pretty new to wrestling like all of Cosmic Angels except Tam. Unagi isn't exactly something special in the ring when it comes to technical skills, although there are many more skilled than her, she is one of the more entertaining people to step into the ring each night. What she lacks for in skill, she makes up for in charisma and spunk. She is the equivalent of the small dog in the pack that is always starting trouble. The difference is she always tries to back it up. While it's unclear if she will get better in the ring, the one thing that is true is that she has the spirit and determination to be a main player in stardom one day, even despite her being much older than the rest of the promotion. Next we have Mina Shirakawa. Born December 26th, 1987, debuting on August 15th of 2018. She was born in Tokyo and stands at 5'1", 119 pounds. Her passport is a past job. She was a grab your idol like Unagi. Her blood type is B and her past factions is a past promotion of Tokyo Joshi 
Pro Wrestling. Our notable moves are the Glamorous Collection Mina, the Implant DDT, and the Luthu Press. Her title wins includes being the 5th Future of Stardom Champion, the 25th Artist of Stardom Champion, and the 1st BBW Girls Champion. Mina, a lot like Unagi, leaves a lot to be desired in the ring, but she encaptures the spirit of Cosmic Angels as well. Whether she is fighting her heart out in the ring or being in some kind of advertisement for the promotion, she always puts in 110%. Like each member of Cosmic Angels, she uses her natural charisma and gorgeous looks to her advantage. She is also one of the only wrestlers in the promotion who seems to be somewhat fluent in English, which allows her to reach a much wider audience than anyone else. And last but not least, we have Mai Sakurai. She was born on September 14th of 1990, debuting on February 11th of 2020. She was born in Tokyo and stands at 5'5", with her weight being unknown. Her past sports include baton twirling, cheerleading, and swimming. Her blood type is O, and her past factions is a past promotion of Actress Girls. Her notable moves is the elbow drop, and she has yet to win any kind of titles. Mai is the newest member of both the Cosmic Angels and Stardom. There isn't much to say about her since she has only had a couple of matches in the promotion. She is the least experienced member of the faction and it shows. She's not very good in the ring at all, but that is to be expected from someone as new as her. She does seem to hold that inner fire that the other Cosmic Angels have though, which means she is probably one to keep an eye on in the next year. So there you go, a short covering of every member of Stardom and Factions. Regardless of what you like, Stardom is so diverse that you will be able to find something you enjoy. If you enjoy pure technical wrestling, then you can follow Shuri or Konami. If you like heart-wrenching stories, you can follow Tam. If you enjoy watching someone progress to greatness, you can follow Queen's Quest. Stardom has everything, and I hope this guide has helped you either get into it or become interested.